Okay, another local interest story. I tell you, this is one I've heard about in my office. When some folks have called me, and these are folks who had worked with a company called Olympus Pools. I don't know if you heard of this one, but Olympus Pools, boy, they took a lot of people's down payments, their deposits on a brand new pool, never started the work. And you know what? Uh, the money's just gone. That's their story now. I'm sorry, everything's just gone. We we don't know what happened, but the money's gone, right? These are the owners, James Statton and his wife of Olympus Pools. A lot of people wanting pools during the pandemic, too. Yeah, well, that was a big thing. We know nobody could leave their home. We thought, okay, well, let's put our money into some home renovations. Let's get a pool, et cetera. Well, Ashley Moody, our attorney general, a great attorney general in this state, is on the case now. And she's filed an action against Olympus Pools and against the individual owners for false and deceptive trade practices, seeking uh, fines as well as restitution. Now, there's going to be some question about where you're going to find the money, because as we say in the legal world, you can't get blood out of a stone or sometimes you say blood out of a turnip. But I like the blood out of a stone sounds a little better to me. In other words, if the people don't have the money somewhere, if they didn't squirrel it away and you can't find it where they squirreled it away, I mean, if they just blew the money, which some people do, uh, I guess, at least that's what they always claim. You know, you convert it to cash and oh, I took it all to Vegas. You know, I don't know what happened. I, to, I, I was in such bad, dire straits that I just, if I didn't win, I just had to win. So I put it all on black. And you know what? The, it came up red. Darn. There went all the money. You know, the bad thing about this is that these people gave money to Olympus Pools, mm-hmm. and then the subcontractors that came and uh, kind of poured the concrete. Started the work. And did their work. Yeah. Now they're going to the homeowners yeah. and demanding money for more money from the homeowners. Well, you can mm-hmm. lean the job. You can lean the house. And that's something a lot right. of people don't know when they hire construction contractors in the state of Florida. Under Florida statutes, you are responsible to make sure that the subcontractors get paid. You need to get certain documents from your general contractor when you pay them. You can't just give them money, say, well, we need the money, and you just give it to them, and they don't pay the subcontractors. Then what happens is you have to pay twice you have to pay yourself as the owner of the property the subcontractors a lot of people don't know that they get involved in these construction contracts everything sounds good you know just like on a honeymoon everything sounds good on the front end right the contractors will sweet talk you on the front end they'll take those upfront payments and you think well this is a man of his word or a woman of her word and you know well doesn't always turn out that way here's another example of it over 200 people apparently have issues with olympus pools and the amount lost is in excess of eight million bucks. Meanwhile, of course, uh, James Statton and his wife Alexis have both filed for personal bankruptcy protection, which I think is just absolutely dastardly. But you would expect no less from them, right? To steal a bunch of people's money and misspend it. And what else would they do other than declare bankruptcy? Of course they would. They don't want to take responsibility for what they've done. They don't want to accept judgments against them. They don't want to work to pay it off like good people might try to do. No, they want to get out of jail free card. I'm going to declare bankruptcy. I'm not going to pay off my debts. Too bad. So sad. Sorry you gave me your last little bit of money to put a pool in your place. I guess you'll just have to deal with it, right? Thank you for listening to the Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard. And if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.